Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Jessie and today is not gonna be a makeup review but this is going to be a makeup tutorial on how I did this look using a eyebrow powder. So if you want to know how I did it, just go ahead and keep on watching! Whenever I put makeup on, I always make sure that my face is clean. I wash it off and I put moisturizer and then after that I'm going to put this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer all over my face just like so. Now moving on, I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Conceal in yellow. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes, in my forehead, in my nose bridge, and on my chin. And then using my damp beauty blender that I got from TJ Maxx, I'm just going to blend everything away. For my foundation, I will be using this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in Medium Beige. I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. It only takes one pump to cover my entire face and the coverage is so unreal. It's so amazing. To bake my face, I'm going to use this Rimmel London Stay Matte in Transparent. And then using my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to swirl it just like that and apply it directly under my eyes and also on the spots that I tend to get too oily, like on the sides of my nose and my forehead and my chin. For my brows, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and this is the shade Ash Brown. clean and define my brows, I'm going to use this LA Colors Concealer and I got this from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to put that under and above my brows, just like so. After doing this, I'm just going to use my fingers to blend everything in. For my primer, I'm using the concealer again and using a mini beauty blender, I'm going to spread that evenly. Here are my brow powders. I have Makeup Revolution, The Body Shop, Salon Perfect, Wet n Wild. I got the NYX one and I also got this from the Dollar Tree, the Color Mates. So as you notice that all of the eyebrow powders has a light to dark shade. See that? And this is good because you have colors for transitioning. And today I will be using Salon Perfect because you can definitely buy this in any drugstore. It's not hard to find. And it also has a lot of shades that we can play with. So first I'm going to get this gray matte shade. This is the lightest and this is going to be our base color. The brush that I'm using right now is from Wet n Wild and this is just a dollar. You can buy this in Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid and sometimes you can see this in the Dollar Tree. Before I continue with the eye makeup, I'm just going to buff my whole face with the setting powder that I already have and just spread that evenly. Now I'm going to take this brown shade and I'm going to apply that on my outer V just like that and I'm also going to drag that color into the half of my crease. The brush that I'm using right now is from Echo Tools and this is a dual sided brush. Using the same color I'm going to put that under my eye and I'm still using the same brush the other end is more of like a smudger brush, which is perfect when you are putting eyeshadow under your eyes. Now I'm going to get the darkest shade on this palette, and I'm going to put that on my entire lid. Once you are satisfied with the color intensity, you can stop from there. I'm going to use this Stay Matte Powder again from Rimmel London, and I'm going to apply that under my brows to add more definition. Now I'm going to use NYC liquid eyeliner and then I'm just going to make a simple line. I'm not going to make a cat eye look or a winged liner because I want my eyes to look bigger.
Now I'm going to use Maybelline's Real Impact Great Lash Mascara and this is going to hide my original lashes from the falsies and the reason why I'm not putting on mascara with the falsies is because I don't want my lashes to get damaged. I love the lashes that I'm going to be using today so I just don't want any product in it. <laughs> This is the Allure Exaggerate number 145 and this is what I will use and of course I will be using my beloved Revlon Lash Glue. This is my everything. I always use my fingers when I'm applying false lashes because I feel like I have a better grip but if you are using tweezers, you do you boo boo. And then after that I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Pencil Eyeliner in Call Your Bluff and going to line my eyes. And now I'm going to put a generous amount of mascara on my lower lashes, just to make everything more sexier. For my contour, I will be using Wet n Wild Caramel Toffee. I have no idea why I'm doing that, I'm just so corny. Now I'm going to start on the sides of my cheeks, my temples, and my jawline of course. And then after that I'm also going to line my nose because Pinocchio is goals. Using the yellow shade, I'm going to apply that under my eyes, above my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin. For my blush, I will be using Aziza blush, and I got this from the 99 cent store. They have four shades to choose from, and you have two colors in each pan. It's not bad at all. As you can see, it is pigmented. For my highlight, I will be using Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. to finish this look using the NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. I love this color. It looks so beautiful. And to lock everything in, I will be using Wet n Wild Setting Spray. And now we are finished. By the way, I just want to take this chance to thank my 500 subscribers. You guys are my everything. You guys inspire me to do my reviews every day. And I just hope that you guys would stick around with me with this journey because this is my passion. I know that you guys are makeup addicts as well like me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you are still not part of the Sassy family, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I upload Mondays to Fridays. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do like this video. Let me know what you think on the comment box down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!